in this video we will create a parallax effect in photoshop cc 2017 it will be fun so let's jump in photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Taste Tutorials and today we will learn about parallax effect. It is an animation in which uh, your subject will be zoom in or zoom out and the background will be zoom in or zoom out. It is a animated effect and create a awesome and cool look and it looks fabulous. So without wasting any time, let's just start our work. First of all, go to select your pen tool right in this toolbar or press from P from your keyboard and select any character which you want to be used as parallax like in this uh, image I will use this character so first of all let's just create a selection around this okay so as you can see that we have created a uh, selection around this uh, object or subject what we can call this and then right, right click on this and click on make selection and we will feel the radius should be 0 0.5 pixels and everything is as it is and hit ok it will create a selection around it now what we will do is we will select our rectangular marker tool or any other tool and select and mask now don't touch anything else uh, on this character we just need to touch only this cap and these uh, hairy type things so you can see that there is a little gap in that so let's just make it zero sorry it should be 100 percent and other settings are as zero so now click and try to erase around a little bit just a little touch so yeah okay so it's nice uh, much nicer here minus 7 shift edge and decontamination colors and we will output it to new layer with layer mask so hit ok very nice look at this now we have uh, both different layers you cannot see that but uh, let's just select this layer mask thumbnail and you will see that there is a little problem here you press brush select foreground as your white color get back to our main layer now what we'll do is we'll click and drag this to delete and apply this on our image so turn on this background layer now press ctrl and create is click on this your background copy layer which you have just extracted create a selection around this go to select modify and expand we'll expand it to 40 pixels you can expand it to 20 pixels it's all depend on you what expand selection done uh, do it will select the extra area around your selection like it is selecting this only this uh, we can say that uh, uh, subject and after that applying this 40 pixels it will uh, expand it to 40 pixel a little bit so hit ok let's see and uh, now you can see that it has selection around this more nicely so we we'll select the background layer go to edit fill and select the content aware the color operation is checked and hit ok what it will do is it will select this area and fill this with uh, around this area so the center will be empty from this uh, character okay so press ctrl d now you can see that the character is pretty much nicely uh, uh, we can say blended in the background now what we'll do is you can see that this one so we will select our patch tool very nice now what we'll do is we will create a new layer uh, the new document sorry and the document size will be exactly 1920 by 1080 pixels or your desktop resolution whatever you like i will go over 1920 by 1080 pixels and the background contents are transparent there we have and hit create so press ctrl h to hide these uh, guidelines now what we will do is we will select both of these layers sorry uh, first of all we will convert them into smart object so we will maintain their expected ratio so it, the quality will be not uh, affected then convert it to smart object also now press shift and select both of these layers and click and drag right into our main document now press ctrl a press ctrl d press ctrl t and take this right into the center of our image 
uh, okay so press control a sorry press control t and uh, now we will size it down to match our background size like uh, now obviously you know that it is not filling the sides so what we will do is we'll simply press control j control t and fill the area with background like you can see that like this so good now press shift and select all of these layers and press ctrl e to merge them into a single layer then we will create a selection right this and press shift back and fill this area with content aware so it will fill this nicely and you can see that there are no clues which shows that the background is created so then same thing we will apply on this side now it looks more nice now the only thing is left our main effect so press ctrl a select your background copy layer and center this character and press ctrl d then we'll put it back to the downside and let's just name this as layer one and sorry uh, layer two we'll delete this one now the main work is done now go to windows and select your timeline you will see that it is created a timeline here we create our parallax effect so click on create video timeline now let's just pick it up a little bit so you could see more betterly now first of all we will select our main layer which is character layer and we want to size it down it means we need to shrink this so press ctrl t size it a little bit up like uh, this one and we'll click on this drop down arrow and you will see that there is a timer here we will select transform because we want to shrink this size so click on this transform it will create a diamond here now go right to the end of this video timeline and press ctrl t and we will shrink this smaller like it like this and now press shift and we will put it back onto its place so the main work is done now click on this check mark and you will see that there is a diamond created also so the timeline video has been done you can see that it is doing very well now uh, the main the same thing we will apply on second layer but this second layer will be uh, zoom out so let's just click on this arrow so the other settings will be opened select this one and click on this not to smart object and then click on this again take your slider to the start and click on this transform then again we'll pick this slider to the end and press ctrl t and we will size it up like this not too much just a little bit maybe a little smaller yes now click on this check mark and you will see that there is a uh, diamond created already here so now let's just move back that's nice so at first time uh, it will just uh, create some hurdles so we'll just let it play so it could create a nice work around it so let me just uh, complete it first you will see that there are small lines it means that it this part is rendered and it will work smoothly don't be worried about that it will just done just in a second very nice so cool now let's just press this uh, play button to play this video and you will see that it is working very nicely look at this it is repeating so in photoshop cs6 there is no option uh, to repeat this uh, again and again so there is a gearbox in photoshop cc 2017 you will change the resolution to 50 percent 100 percent and you can loop play back it means that it will play again and again so let's just full screen this to get an idea of this that's nice now press play button and you will see that looks fabulous i really love this effect and this is it this is what we have learned in this video and i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe to our channel you will get more techniques to understand about photoshop and uh, i will teach you 
uh, everything about Photoshop and we will do some creative work also and uh, we will meet in our next video don't forget to subscribe please and uh, visit our blog you will find out more things on our blog and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe to our channel again and uh, never forgot and keep learning